so this is the first problem related to friction so the problem is determine whether the block shown is in equilibrium and find the magnitude and direction of the friction force so we have to find out whether this block is in equilibrium and we have to find the magnitude and direction of the friction force when this angle theta is equal to 25 degree and this applied force is equal to 725 newton so let us solve this problem first of all we have to draw the free body diagram so suppose this is your body okay so i will make the block and so this is your block suppose and let us consider the x axis in this direction and y direction you know, y axis is in the normal direction to this plane okay so this is our y axis this is our x axis and uh, the forces which are acting are the weight force and this is equal to 1.25 kilo newton then this force is acting uh, acting p which is 750 newton and uh, <coughs> normal force will act perpendicular to this n okay normal force and uh, suppose uh, this uh, force p this pushes the block in this direction so the frictional force will act in the opposite means to resist the motion so this will be the frictional force okay now we can resolve these forces into the x and y directions this force w and this force p so for that we need the angles so this angle is given theta which is equals to 25 degree okay so we have suppose this is the perpendicular this is the y direction okay and uh, we have this is the perpendicular okay so this is uh, this line is perpendicular to this line and this line is perpendicular to horizontal okay so this angle will be theta similarly you can find for this so this is the horizontal okay so in the y direction um, let us draw this so again uh, this angle will be theta okay so according to equilibrium summation of fx will be zero and summation of fy will be zero now in the x direction we have w sin theta then this uh, <coughs> and this will be here okay and this p force will act in the opposite direction so we can say minus 750 cos theta and uh, frictional force okay f will be equal to zero and similarly in the y direction we will be having w cos theta 
which is downward minus n and we have the <coughs> one component this plus 750 sine theta plus 2 0 so we just need to solve the two equations then we will get f as 172 172.6 newton and n you can calculate from the second equation that will be comes out to be 1404 1404.5 newton okay and uh, maximum frictional force maximum will be equal to mu s into n which will equal to now mu s is 0.35 given here into 1404.5 so maximum friction force is friction so this is our problem there are two blocks and they are attached with a cable and this force is applied so we are given coefficients of friction static as well as kinetic and we have to determine the force p required to start the motion of this 30 kg block okay when this cable is attached and the second part when this cable is uh, removed okay so let us start so first we will do the first part part a so let us make the free body diagram okay so first we will make the free body diagram of 20 kg block so in this we have a w then we have a force of tension then suppose this block will move in this direction then we have friction force here and we have a normal force okay now according to equilibrium w will be equal to n which will be equals to 20 into 9.81 which will be equal to 196 point Uh, 196.2 newton okay point 0.2 newton similarly uh, we can equate uh, this is summation fy and uh, summation of fx should also be zero that means this uh, t should be equal to f okay now f you can calculate f will be equal to mu s into n and mu s is 0 0.4 while n is 196.2 okay so that comes out to be 78.48 78.48 newton and thus we will get t is equal to 78.48 newton okay now we will draw the free body diagram for block 2 so in this we have a reaction force which is equal and opposite to this then uh, there is a friction force f which is equal and opposite to this force okay now we have uh, weight of this block okay then we have a uh, tension force here we have p here okay and another friction force let's say f2 will be here okay and then we have a normal reaction force n2 so again we will make the 
equilibrium condition so summation of f y is equal to 0 so in the f we will be having a weight uh, plus n that should be equals to n2 okay so weight is equal to 30 into 9.81 plus uh, we know this n 196.2 so this will be equals to n2 so it comes out to be n2 will be equal to 490.5 newton okay 490.5 newton similarly you can equate the uh, summation of fx in the x direction though that should also be equal to zero so you have this p force should be equal to t plus f and plus f2 okay so this t we have calculated 78.48 f we have calculated again 78.48 and this f2 will be equal to uh, mu s n2 mu s n2 so mu s we know uh, 0.4 and n2 we know uh, 490.5 so from this uh, we can solve for p and it comes out to be 353.2 newton 353.2 newton so this is the smallest force which is required for the motion of block b when the cable is attached okay now second part is a little simpler one b part okay so let us solve the B part uh, here. Okay. So free body diagram. So in, when this cable is detached, then uh, this will act as a single body. Uh, so free body diagram will be like this. So you will be having both the blocks moving together. Okay. So we have a vertically downward force of W. Uh, then a reaction force N and suppose this is moving in this direction P so we have a friction force here so these are the two forces okay now W will be equals to means total of this so 50 into 9.81 that comes out to be 490 Point 0.5 newton okay and then p minus f will be equal to zero in the x direction so p will be equal to f which is equals to mu s into n that will be equal to 0.4 into 490.5 and when we solve it so it comes out to be 196.2 newton